Hi everyone, my name is Ken LaRue and I'm from Autodesk and I'm going to be your host for the next three plus hours on an advanced tutorial focusing on Autodesk Flame. The Flame artist who created these tutorials, his name is El Pierre Ote and what he's going to show you is actually quite amazing because he's going to model a 3D watch inside of Flame. Now typically you're going to think someone's going to use Maya or 3ds Max to create a 3D objects and light them and put textures and materials. But this is where you start to see how Flame has capabilities that go way beyond a typical editor slash compositing application. Now Flame is not about to eliminate the need for Maya or 3ds Max, trust me. But El Pier is going to show us how he's able to use the tools inside of Flame to create this very realistic looking 3D watch. Keep in mind, even though you'll be hearing my voice while I'm narrating this, everything you're seeing done on the screen is actually being done by El Pier. All right, let me introduce you to the man himself, El Pier Ote. He's going to tell you a little bit about himself and also what we're about to cover. And then in the next video, we'll start actually working on the scene. Hi, I'm Ali Paroktay from Istanbul, Turkey. I've been working with Flame for 14 years. My professional working life started with Flint version 7 in a national TV channel TV8 doing motion graphics. Then I started to work as an online and finishing artist for TV commercials and motion picture films. I worked for Cineffect for 10 years. I worked with Inferno on Onyx, Flame on Octane and Tejo there. Now I'm working for Image Post Production. Thanks Image for the latest hardware and software working on these videos. I have inspired from the one frame of white contest. I forced myself to prepare this video without any imports. I tried to use new functions lately implemented to Flame. It works on any 2018 Flame. I like to work with Flame and Flame is always my main tool. I like its unique interface. It's the most comfortable finishing software that you can work with clients. In this video tutorial series I'm going to tell how I modeled this 3D watch by using 3D shapes, extruding G masks, displacing images, using camera FX and the other things. This is the main setup with icons on. I'll close the icons. First, in the first video, I'll show how I modeled this base with the date indicator. In the second video, I will add a small indicator here with a with this circular shape and the hand here. And at the third video, I'll add a number 12 here. And I'll add some graphic materials and a flame logo here in the modeling base videos fourth video at the fifth video I'll show this metal case the material assigned to it PBR material the effect of the depth of field and the light setup in the sixth video I'll show you how I create this inner ring, reflective inner ring by old school methods with reflections, reflection maps. And the seventh video, I'll show how I done this dials. In the eighth video, I'll show these buttons, the crown shaped pop buttons and the rounded buttons. And in this video, ninth video I'll show the hands and materials on it on them and finally the render with camera fx reflections occlusions shadow cast depth of field and other settings <laughs> 